You're watching Terror TV and we're here today at the National Emergency Services Museum in Sheffield to come and experience the temporary scare attraction here called Kane Who Am I? which is created by PUP Events. Five years ago, whilst excavating to restore the museum, a set of untouched rooms and cells were found. Workmen and officials investigated the site, but all work had to stop due to the strange mishaps, such as electronics blowing, things moving in the night, foul smells, strange noises, and terrible marks appearing on the workers' bodies. We now invite you to enter and visit the new rooms to experience for yourself what made the workers flee. And maybe, maybe you'll be lucky enough to find who Cain really is. Uh, Cain, who am I, is, um, is a scare attraction uh, based in the uh, National Emergency Services Museum in Sheffield. Um, it's based on the actual uh, ghost encounters that lots of different um, paranormal investigators have, have actually come across in this building. So we're taking uh, actual uh, encounters and actual people that they've actually found spirit-wise and we're just bringing them to life. He's going to get you! <laughs> We were very lucky that they contacted us to do this, uh, um, they'd been to a, a previous uh, scare attraction that we'd done and uh, they asked specifically could we come through and have a look and as soon as we walked in, um, anybody that, that's ever been in this building, it's nearly, it's like nearly 120 year old, it's absolutely beautiful, it's, it, it, it doesn't need theming, You've, everything's there for you, um, it, it's just a wonderful place and, and as soon as they asked it were um, it was look at the logistics and, and it was yes and it were oh definitely we've got to do it here because it, it would just be a, an opportunity wasted if not. Okay, so we've just been through Kane, Who Am I? And in comparison to their previous attractions, especially their first one, you can definitely see the progress. To start off with, we walked into a, a maze section uh, made out of a lot of chipboard and plywood and stuff like that. Uh, the theming itself was quite minimal, but that's because the building kind of themes itself anyway. Uh, and I, we really liked how they used real ghost sightings and stuff in the actual story. I thought that was that worked really well. It was nice that they actually even part and partnered up with a paranormal investigation company. But overall, uh, the acting was very good. There was some, there was some very good scares. Uh, cameraman Paul uh, had some great moments in which he would uh, nearly drop to the floor. I found that quite amusing. Uh, there's the drop panels. The drop panel was one of the better drop panels I've ever seen in a scare attraction. Actually, it was used very well in a very kind of inconspicuous place. Uh, we come to meeting Kane and finally find out who he is. Uh, 
and he got us to lie down, I got Paul to lie down on a bed and he stood me in the corner of the room facing the wall uh, and I think he was trying to find our kidneys. Uh, I'm not sure why he was trying to find our kidneys um, but either way he was poking around down in here and it was a bit, bit creepy and very strange. There's one specific actor in there who's absolutely fantastic. She worked the room absolutely amazingly. I'm sure you'll see maybe a little bit of it in the video themselves. And, and then at the end, we were kind of pushed into a gate in where we had really no way to go other than through the gate. But we had to step back and open it. But we had three or four actors behind us grabbing at our legs and stuff. Uh, that was something I really didn't expect was I didn't expect the actors to touch us as much as they did. Uh, I expected it to be a lot more calm and just simple scares here and there, but I think overall, out of five, I'm going to give it about a three. Yeah. Do you think three? I think a three. We'll go with three. Um, it was, yeah, it was good. It was theatrical. I like the concept of it, and hopefully they'll be able to use more of this building in the future because we've had a little look round and it's a great venue, and we're looking forward to seeing what happens with PUP events very soon. Whenever you see a hearse go by, normally means you're next to die. <laughs> they wrap you up in clean white sheets and drop you down six feet deep.